Hello guys, I'm Dusty and welcome back to Tales of Magiel, the first episode in fact. So I've already made our character that we'll be starting with, his name is Solandril and he'll be an elf, an elven archer. <laughs> it's kind of cliche but this game is very, very high fantasy so I think it fits. <clears throat> We're going to be starting and this time let's, uh, let's actually put some thought into our into our points. So I think I want to probably I'm looking over at the description on the right. Um hmm. light up the area around the target. Uh, let's put our two points in these two skills. Which is really nice. Um they just basically just give extra damage and this one and this one lights up the area and has a chance to blind at level three, I guess. So that's that's nice. It's all great. Uh, for our generic point, um, we'll put it in whatever is passive. This one's passive. It increases physical power. Oh, I don't want to use daggers though. Um, let's use heightened senses. It's a nice passive. I don't I don't like activated powers that much because then I I have to do, put work into it. Basically, I'm I'm lazy, so I want to just have passive powers that I don't have to. That help me out and I don't have to do anything, basically. Um, I guess we'll give him extra dexterity, and I think he could use some um, some strength as well, I guess. And that's that's it. So let's get started. Accept these changes. Um, welcome, Salandriel. Um You guys can pause, and I highly suggest you pause and read this. All right, so after days of travel, we have found this lair, and I'm on the very right side of the screen, and it, it's kind of, whoops, that's not how you move. W, A, S, and D is not how you move. Let's kill the snake real quick. Oh, wow, we are just pinned to the side here. I mean, it's great terrain for fighting, but <laughs> can't see much. Okay, we're out. A font of life. Amazing. It's very snowy. Hmm. It's probably something about that. Okay. Wow, this is very narrow. Um, narrow passes right here, and I can walk through that. Okay. There's a slime of some kind. A blue ooze. Just amazing. Oh, it dropped something. It dropped an axe. Oh. And a snake. Okay, that's not good. Where's our seven? Is our healing? I think everybody starts with a healing inscription or extra power here. Let's let's go through our, our, our powers real quick. We have Flare, which is uh, the one that I leveled up before. Um, it does 100% fire damage, which is basically 100% um, of my weapon damage. And it lights up the area and has a chance to blind. I went through that already. Wrath of the Woods um, calls upon the power of the Eternals, increasing all damage by 11%. That's great. It's just uh, extra damage and it will increase with my willpower. Stay Shot uh, gets extra damage. Um, a Wild Infusion. Yeah, that, that gets rid of effects that I have on myself, like this, which is... Um, Oh, that's just... <laughs> I, I don't think it'll get rid of that. Anyway, let's see. We can reload our quiver. One shot per turn. Okay, it doesn't break stuff. That's nice. Let's, uh... I mean, I'm an archer, and I'm not using my archer skills, so let's quickly just hit two. Fire. And fire our bow a few more times. I have a bow, right? Inventory. Um, I have a bow. Do I have arrows? I have arrows. Um, it is F to fire, right? Maybe it's K? No. Um, let's <laughs> uh, take one brief moment to go into the key bindings. That's kind of, it's not, it's not very, um, professional, but, okay. What is, what is fire? What is fire? Okay, this hockey thing is so annoying. Um, 
Fire weapon. Fire weapon. God. This is such good video right here. Maybe I'll just cut it out. Uh. Attack left. Order, talk to people. <clears throat> So I can, I guess I can click on people and it'll fire at them. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I want to, okay, look, look does that. And I can look around and I can click and I can, I can choose to fire with that. But I, I guess we'll just, we'll just use the, the, the mouse. Even though that's not very roguelike-ish. We'll do it. Because it's simple and easy. Another pretty nice thing about this game, it has good uh, mouse integration. Um, that's what that white worm mask. There's apparently a white worm mask around using multiply. You can see in the message log. And there's also a, a cap of constitution. All right, let's wear that. Where is it? All things. Uh, click wield wear. Gives us one armor. And no defense. Oh, so it's cap constitution plus two, so I guess it gives us plus two constitution and obviously more fatigue because we're wearing it. Well, because it's heavy-ish, not really, but hey. Okay, that's not good. That's not a good thing. <laughs> um, hmm. let's, let's use my powers. Let's use my powers. Let's use the shot on that guy. Let's hope it blinds him. That is not good. We are not doing well in this situation. I'm not used to playing an archer, I've played a few other characters since last time, but I'm not used to playing archers. <laughs> what does this do? Shoot. Oh! Right, it's a talent, so I can I can press 5 and press enter, and I can just spam it. And fire all the arrows at all the white worm masses that are regenerating. Now let's rest up and regain some health, alright. So leather armor. Is it is it better than what I'm currently wearing? I don't think so. Two armor, one defense. Where's this? Where? Rough leather armor, two armor, one defense. Nope. Nope. It is that is totally useless. I'll sell it for whatever it sells for. It's probably like 0 0.3 gold. Um, oh, this is very dungeon-like. This this forest area. <laughs> it's it's very like straight and narrow. What's this? Oh, yeah, the font of life. So nice. Um, yeah. So far, this campaign is seem, seeming all right. I really like the dwarf campaign. If you guys have played this game before, the dwarf. Uh, each race has different campaigns. Here, let's shoot. We don't need to be using our melee attack. And rest. Uh, each each race has different uh, campaigns. They have... what is two? Yeah. Oh, wow, that guy took no damage. Um, and... and... Uh, oof, that was close. Okay, and uh, the Dwarven campaign starts a, starts out in a dungeon. Maybe maybe next character will play a Dwarf. It looks like we might be seeing the, the dungeon walls pretty soon. By the way things are going right now. Oof. Okay, let's just spam arrows. What does three do again? Yeah, extra damage. Is there extra damage? Oh man, that wrecked him. That destroyed him. Okay, that's great. What is this? This is a, a lantern of the zealot. Can I can I use this? Oh, and it it's infused by arcane stripping for, uh, forces, which is uh, another dynamic in this game. Is the the nature um, versus uh, the arcane, I guess. And uh, arcane disrupting forces, I guess, in, in disrupt the arcane forces as they're very self explanatory. But um, uh, my character, being 
a, uh, <laughs> I didn't mention this before, but there are two elf types, and I was the, the type that is uh, secluded in the in the in forests. The there was another type which was very um, magical, and and this type is really much more of the nature um, variety of elves. Here, let's rest up. Really handy. Okay. Uh, so, well, that's great that we found that, and it's not, um, I don't know if there's like a nature disrupting, uh, infusion, but if there is, then I would not have wanted that. Uh, oh, it looks like there's an iron battle axe here that I don't think we'll be using anytime soon. But let's pick it up and weigh ourselves down. Oh, I don't, I don't think I need to use my bow in these guys. I don't know, do I have arrows that I, that I use? I don't think I, I do. I think it's just, yeah, there isn't like a, a bow, oh no, I've got 8 out of 12, and I'm picking them back up, I think. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's fire a, an arrow, so 5, enter, and yeah, 7 out of 12, okay, so there is, there is a certain um, element of wanting to con conserve ammo, that's, that's nice, <laughs> it's nice that you don't have just a, a large amount of oh, it's on the side over there too. Just a an infinite number of um of arrows. That's great. So on the left there, you can see oh, this guy's huge, a giant brunette. You know, over here, you can see the uh, number of, of, uh, of arrows that I have left. You can see I just used one, and I don't know like how I pick them up. Do I like regen them? Rest? Yeah, I regen them when I rest. Um, that's a bit weird. I guess, um, my elven ways let me, uh, just teleport random. Okay, let's just lose that train of thought and, uh, head straight into this. Uh, please help me. I am afraid I've lost myself in this place. I know there is a recall portal left around here by a friend, but I've fought too many battles, and I fear I will not make it. Would you help me? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll take a quest. And this is a party member. <clears throat> which is really nice. You can press, like, you can press F2 to switch to them, or give them um, orders, I guess. Maybe not this guy, but fighting... She's slow, okay. <laughs> but fighting um, companions you can switch to and control. I'm fairly certain, although I've never actually done it. Uh, I just kind of rashly ran out there. I was... Probably a bad idea. Let's heal up and kill these guys. I should be firing my arrows. Come on. Uh, three left guy. That's dangerous. Let's not shoot ourselves, say. Eh? Okay, seven. Seven is my health. Five. Five is fire. That's kind of awkward to, to hit. What is this guy? Poison Ivu. <laughs> oh, you're, you're immovable. Ha! Okay. Regeneration infusion is available. Why is she so slow? You are so slow. Okay, and now you're just running off on your own. Don't, don't do that. Okay, you're you're up here. Um, let's just follow her until she maybe leads us to some good areas. And let's kill that guy. Three, is it? Yeah, that's the that's my power shot. Is three. Let's wait and just kill her. Kill that guy with a melee attack. What did we pick up here? A pair of iron boots. I'll be using that so much. Not just in, in case he didn't get sarcasm. Help! Oh, tch. you don't fucking say. You don't say. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Let's not spam the move button in their direction. That sometimes kills me. Seven. I don't have any arrows left, so I have to. Okay, let's rest. Oh, <laughs> awesome! We we completed the test, uh, the uh, quest. There's the recall portal right up there. Let's um, we can learn a talent. What's this do? Sunlight appears all around you, healing and shielding all within a radius of three. That's pretty good. Oh, but not if I'm surrounded by monsters. I guess. I see. Lights up the affected zone, so it doesn't travel with me. I don't want. I don't really care about that. 
healing light uh, shines on me. And it heals me, I'm alright with that. Mount heal will increase my spell power. I mean, I'm not a very spell power kind of dude, but I mean, I'll take healing. That's alright with me. Invoke the power of light to heal and mend. Uh, and, and nothing else, apparently. <laughs> no, no cooldown, nothing. Oh, I guess this is... I didn't, I didn't read the thing, I just read the, the description on the bottom right. I can train in category Celestial Light. Um, I don't really care about that. I might go for Improved Cunning by 2, or Healing Light, so... You know, let's, let's stick to the nature sort of thing, and not go with the... that sort of... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, not go with the Arcane Arts. I'm just stick with healing myself naturally with infusions. And apparently not getting hit. Okay, that's great. Oh man, this guy is doing a number on me. I really need to <laughs> regen my arrows. Oh, okay, seven. Seven again. I am just spamming, spamming that seven. Can I, can I please, is there another... Wrath of the Woods. Okay, let's do that. Let's activate our, our Wrath of Woods. Wrath of the Woods. Um, what is this? Oh, reload. That's what I'm doing. I read the talent and it just didn't register it at all before. So I can press 6 and then 3 for that power shot and wreck his face. Okay, let's regen all our stuff. Great. I guess it auto-reloads when you when you rest. Is there anything else in this in this area? There is that recall portal back there. What is that? Not the snake, but like over here. What is this? Anti-magic bush? Oh. Another, um... Another, uh... Another nature thing. Now let's, let's take care of this... This snake. Wow. Wow, the snakes are getting really tough. I need a better bow. Anti-magic bush. Okay. I guess you just can't use spells in that area, maybe? What does 2 do? Oh yeah, that's the flame thing. And again, rest. So I don't know how long I should make these episodes, but I, I think I'll go for a little bit longer. And, and if we die, I'll stop it then. But otherwise, we, we'll just continue on with this character. Let's use two on that guy and three on that. I should be not, I should not be. Yeah, flare and Steady Shot. Okay, I should be using those names instead of the numbers. That's how I know them. The numbers. Okay, let's use Steady Shot on the skeleton. And Flare. You know, both. All the skills. Okay, and let's just die. That was, that was not played very well. So I guess I did say I'm going to end it when I died. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Tales of Magiel. I hope to play some more with you guys. Goodbye!